Hello, today I will explain how the common emitter amplifier works and I will explain it on a level of detail so that it should be possible for you to make your own on a breadboard like this in order to power an 8 ohm uh, loudspeaker like this one. So let's start by looking at the circuit diagram. So we, we will have a single NPN transistor. In this case we will have a BC547. For an NPN transistor, that the voltage here at the base, it will control how much current can go from the collector to the emitter. Now we will limit this current from the collector to the emitter with two resistors. So there will be one here and one at also at the emitter side. We will connect this to a 9 volt battery. So this resistor here uh, will use a 680 ohm and uh, will use a 2.0 K ohm resistor for at, at the collector side. Now uh, we want to limit the DC current but we don't want to limit the AC current which is the current that we want to amplify. And therefore, uh, we put also here a bypass capacitor. Now, if we use an electrolytic capacitor, we should remember to use the positive side with long leg uh, on the top side here. So the idea now is that while the 680 ohm resistor will limit the DC current, the AC current will pass through the capacitor instead. I will use a 10 microfarad capacitor here. The exact value of this capacitance is not so sensitive. All right, so some inter interesting things happen at the base. Now if we remember, now that if we use a 9 volt battery, we have uh, 0 volts and 9 volts to work with. But the AC signal it will swing between positive values and negative values. So the way that we achieve this is that we have an operating point here at the base and negative voltages will now be rep represented by voltages which are below the operating voltage here at the base. And this is achieved now uh, with two resistors like this. So for those of you who are interested in learning how we actually calculate the, what resistance values we should use here, I will leave some references down below that, that you can have a look at. In this example, we'll use 470 kilo ohms here and we'll use 10 kilo ohms here. This means that when we apply an input signal here, this will control the current and voltage here at the collector side of the transistor. So this is where we'll take the output. But we want to get rid of the DC component uh, that is intro introduced by this biasing. And therefore we have a capacitor here as well. I'll use also, a, again, 10 microfarad capacitor here. So here we have the output. And then this we, this we can connect to the loudspeaker. So let's have a look at the breadboard now. Here we have the transistor. On the emitter side we have the bypass capacitor and the resistor. On the base we have two resistors and on the collector side we have a resistor and the output capacitor. And now to, uh, to listen to a signal that we've amplified through this amplifier. Uh, I have made a um, audio oscillator which creates a tone for us to listen to. And uh, to start with, we'll connect the oscillator directly uh, to the loudspeaker. Now, if we connect the loudspeaker like this, Now it will be difficult for you on the video to, to hear any sound, but if you would put your ear to the loudspeaker, you would able to, be able to hear 
uh, a, a faint sound. Now let's amplify this signal uh, through the amplifier that we just made on the breadboard. So we'll connect the, the plus 9 volts here and we'll connect the ground here and we'll connect the, the signal now uh, to the base of the transistor. And then we have the loudspeaker, we connect one end to, to the ground and then the other one to the output capacitor. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.